Hi, in this video, we will learn how you can create an automated inventory management system by using Microsoft Excel uh, for the whole year. So this is the 2023 inventory balances by each individual months. And these are the sheets of individual months and entries. These all sheets are interlinked with each other. The opening balances are also linked with uh, the closing balances of the previous month. And whatever changes you will enter here will be reflect on the master 2023 uh, sheet. So let me give you just a quick example. Let's say you enter a minus 5,000, a big number here, it's become negative 4575. So if you go here, it's become all negative because it's all reflecting on the individual's months going forward. So let me just fix it and you can see it has been fixed in all the months. So basically whatever information you are entering into individual sheets are going into the next sheet. So in order to learn how I create this in amazing program, please subscribe my channel now and keep watching this video till the end. So we are, we are creating uh, the inventory management system from the scratch. So this is going to be our first month. So first of all, we will change the sheet name to our first month, which is January 23. Uh, then we will list down all of our items. I have already done uh, to save the time. Now I have to open few columns next to it. The first column will be the opening balance. Here I will open uh, my opening balance, which will be the closing balance of my last month. And here I will enter my date so if the dates are coming like this you can always select and go in general to make it a general right so i have to input the dates from 1 to 31st so the easiest way to do it is just type 1 here in the next column press equal select the previous cell plus 1 enter so now i have the second date i can copy and paste it till i get the 31st so now I have done uh, adding all my dates. Uh, I need to reformat them to make it a small so it become more visible. And the last column gonna be my closing balance. So opening balance first to the, uh, the last month and then the closing balance. So this is the month of January. So I can just call it a January and we can also merge few cells like that we can further enhance the formatting by selecting the headings and give it a color moreover we can also select all of our items and increase the length of our cells to a decent level so it become more visible there and we can select all of them and just simply give it a border and we can then go on view and unhide uh, hide the grid so we just remain to our working page and rest of the area will become a white paper so this is our opening balance these are all the inputs and this is our closing balance so let's hypothetically enter some opening balance So I hypothetically enter some opening balances and you might notice if I'm entering it's going to the bottom right. So I just select all of them and just reformat to the centralize and the vertically centralize as well. So I just realigned all my fields so it become more visible then. And here I will apply a formula which is called sum and we will select all these values and then close the bracket and enter it and repeat this formula till the end right so now this is my closing balance so if i enter something here you can you can simply manage it by like this so if my balance is reducing if i'm issuing my inventory i will input the value into a negative so you can see the balance will be minus so negative means that we are uh, issuing and the positive means we are we are uh, buying the inventory so this is our first step right let's keep it simple okay uh, then I have to do what I have to create a second month of 
the inventory so how i can do that i will just go and right click on the sheet and here i will select the move or copy you will click on that you will check the create copy and create move to the end okay so now i have this january 23 copy available so i will rename it to the fab 23 and just remove the values so i will basically rename it to fab 23 so now this is my february right and this opening balance now here is a trick this opening balance should be the closing balance of my previous month right so i don't need to re-enter the opening balance manually i can simply link it with my previous sheet and how i can do that uh there are several tricks we can use to do that um, the easiest way is just apply a vlookup so we can say vlookup i will select this particular sheet a uh, particular item uh, comma then i have to select the array so i just select all these arrays and make notice that this is my uh, column 34 you can see it by here right and comma 34 comma 0 and enter so i just got my closing balance from the previous month right uh, i have to freeze these values and i have to freeze the column c okay of this formula and then repeat it till the down so i have my opening balance now so if i input something here let's say minus 20 so it's become minus 80 now okay so you are now uh, carried forwarding very easily from the previous month so we have to do the same thing with our all the rest of the 12 month okay i just noticed that the fab is uh, limited to 28 uh, till so you can hide these columns but do not uh, remove the columns because i want to keep uh, the format across all the sheets same this is column aj and this is also aj so it should be at the position of aj so it easily synchronize and interact and coordinate with each other so let me quickly create them okay before we create the further sheet uh i have to do one more thing uh is that we will select all these sheets right and we will apply a conditional formatting so we can see if the value is positive or negative so you can go on the home page then the conditional formatting you can highlight the cell rules select greater than and if something is greater than zero we will mark them as a green and if something is conditional formatting highlight less than if something is less than zero we will mark them as red so this is inventory out and this is inventory in so if i purchase 20 quantity so it become positive if i just sold it it's become red right so i am just recoloring them so i apply the same thing here on fab as well so before uh, copying the sheet uh, i should apply the conditional formatting as well uh, so it goes on every sheet i am creating okay very easily so now i'm creating the rest of my sheets okay so here i created uh, my sheets till december so this is my opening balance this is my closing balance so let's say if i purchase something here let's say 20 my balance is 22 it is reflecting till the december so in april if i purchase let's say 30 so if you go on my you will see 52 here if i just minus 20 it's become 32 and carrying forward on 32 on the june as well so previously 52 on march 32 and it's keep going right uh, so basically what you have done you have created a master sheet first january 23 and then you just clone those sheet into the individual's month uh, the rest of the years and that's how you link each other by using the vlookup functionality into the opening balance from february to december 
and only generally you have to input the opening balance manually which is the closing balance of your previous year so we are making inventory management for the whole year so now the challenge is after creating this okay this is now a good management system by a month but we need to see uh, the trend and the information by through the year as well so i need to see the closing balance throughout the all these uh, months into individual sheets so we can also achieve that so this is my uh, yearly sheet or rather than creating a new sheet what we can do we can again clone this january copy and just create it here and we call it 2023 so this is 2023 and this is the breakdown of all these uh, months of 2023 and instead of uh, 1 to 31 now we will call it Jan 23 right like this so let me just first remove uh, the dates I will have to bit increase the length of it right and I will type apostrophe because Jan 23 will be considered as a date otherwise. So Jan Jan dash 23, right? Like this. Feb apostrophe Feb 23. So I will enter everything like this. Okay. After creating all these months, I will remove the extra columns now and uh, i will also remove these areas i don't need that i even we don't need a closing balance so we will remove this okay so whatever information is coming on the last column will be our active inventory okay we even don't need an opening balance we can remove that i'm sorry we can remove the opening balance so now we have the individual months and all the item listed and now I need a closing balance of each of these months. How I can do that? Simply by relookuping each sheet. So let's call it dash VLOOKUP. I will select the items. Now I will go on my individual sheets from column C. See, because of my Mercer, it is changed to the B. So it should be a C to column A, J. Right? I will freeze them by F4, comma the cell uh the cell number is 34 column number is 34 and we will comma and zero and press enter so now it is showing me the closing balance is january i cannot repeat this formula like this right because um because i need to change the formula to the fab then the march and april right so this is very time consuming it is so here i am repeating again I just remove everything I bring them into a double quote then I press end I link with this one okay here I have to freeze the line 3 okay so I can repeat uh, to the rest of the area and here I have to input a single uh, apostrophe before uh, the month and I have to bring this all range into a function called indirect, right? Okay. So I just got 22 back. So if I just repeat this formula here uh, across all the sheets like this, so okay, it's again, let me see what's the issue. Okay, I did not freeze the column C. So I have to freeze the column C and enter. And if I repeat them here, so you can see uh, we have the uh, closing balance of the desk 22 fab 22 march 22 here we change to 52 right so let's say if i go on february and if i import 100 here so it's become 122 so if i go here you can see 122 in a march if i purchase let's say uh, 60 units it's become 182 in april if i show let's say 150 so remaining balance 162 so it is showing 62 okay 62 here 62 there in a my i sold let's say 90 it's become negative so if i go here it's all negative throughout 
all the month so basically we are carried forwarding our inventory balances so that's how you can manage all your inventories so i hope you enjoyed uh, learning how to prepare a quick uh, management inventory management system if you like this please let me know in comments and what else you would like to learn from my skills from my 15 years of experience please do let me know in comments and if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe now because i have more to bring in future for to add in your learning portfolio so thank you so much and thanks for watching